Excuse. Berg. Here. Bonet. Here. Doyle. Here. Graf. Here. Manny. Excuse. Montemere. Here. Moody. Here. Perez. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Stephan. Excused. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Excused. Wangelman. Here. Warner. Here. Weininger. Here. Twelfth present. Quorum's present. And I will turn it over to Anne. Here, can I have the redevelopment authority again? Oh, excuse me. Redevelopment authority. Mike, would you take the roll, please? Thank you. Uh-uh. Can't hear. Thank you. Okay. Anne, if you want to start out. Uh, I'm going to talk about the development agreement for a minute. The document that I think you have before you compares the current version of the development agreement. Do you want me to wait till? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's right. yeah. That wouldn't be probably um, the current version or the. The development agreement you have before you is the current version of the development agreement compared to the one I you received, I think it was two weeks ago now, on two weeks ago Monday, or two weeks ago today. Um, the principal changes to the document are those that I discussed with you last Monday night. Um, pretty much, uh, I think those are the significant changes to the document. There are some other changes, for example, with respect to any refinancing of the construction lender's loan and the amount that that refinancing can be, the maximum amount it can be. Um, but I, I really don't see, I'm paging through here quickly, I don't, uh, I think the principal changes are the ones I discussed last week. So um, I guess I would answer any questions, obviously, that you would have on any of the changes that were made. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to I'd like to make a motion to pass the resolution 648, which is number 660304. There would be 758. We're going to jump around. Oh. Apologize. <coughs> Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I would like to make a motion to pass 758, resolution number 820304, and put upon his passage. Alderman Longman. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to make a comment on the four documents before us. Basically, we're voting on the first one now, but basically my comments are going to be about the same. I've talked to a lot of people in the last week, and they're scared, Mr. Mayor. They're scared about the financing. I'm frightened about the financing. I hope and pray that our Blue Harbor does well. I want it to do well. I've been born and raised in Sheboygan. I've lived here all my life, and I'm probably going to die here. Maybe not tonight yet, but... Uh, <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm worried. The people of Sheboygan are worried. I hope Blue Harbor is a good thing for Sheboygan. I hope Blue Harbor is everything we want it to be. I hope our Blue Harbor doesn't turn out to be Sheboygan's Pearl Harbor. Thank you. Okay. Alderman Rankford. Thank you, Your Honor. I, for one, am proud that this day has finally come. It's been uh, some time in coming. We've had some extension issues, but it's finally here. I'm proud because Sheboygan refuses to be like other communities who do not invest in their future. We are rather, we're actively participating in securing our future versus passively hoping for the best. Um, I'm proud because of the hard work of many individuals uh, who have dedicated their time and their efforts in securing this deal. I don't believe we could possibly add up all the hours that uh, especially the Friends of Sheboygan and those in the city have added, um, combined to, to make sure that we get this deal. I'm proud because there are those of us that have said Sheboygan was already a tourist destination. And I think that um, 
the bookings uh, for the conventions that there's interest and the people interested in the con the 10 people are so interested in the condos have already proven that out. People are interested in coming here. And I'm proud because despite our differences in this body regarding some of the details, I'm confident this body will come together and as a whole vote for a project that this entire community can be proud of. However, as we now look forward to developing the rest of the South Pier District, I hope we can avoid some of these issues that we've had uh, in handling the Blue Harbor project. Uh, the first one would be developers jumping the gun or, as another alderman had said, putting the cart before the horse. Um, we were told back in April that we had to approve this agreement because the financing was lined up and clearly this was not so. We were put into an awkward position of allowing work on redevelopment authority land without an agreement or in place. And in some ways, we're still doing that when it comes to the financing. Um, perhaps some of the, the issues of dishonesty in the agreement language itself. Uh, for example, the $4 million loan to Great Lakes. Uh, I think if no loan was required, the city would be receiving room taxes and property taxes from Blue Harbor, yet these very revenue streams are being claimed as the repayment of the $4 million loan. How it's a loan, I don't know. When no money is coming out of the cash flow of Great Lakes or Blue Harbor, and the city is only receiving money it would be getting anyway. If it looks like a duck and sounds like a duck, it might just be a duck. Let's call this duck what it is. It's a gift, or actually I prefer to use the word investment in our city's future. For let's face it, without the city partnering with the developer, there would be no project. Uh, we would not be able to uh, be without our increased tax base or the increased tourism dollars spent here. And lastly, the lack of respect we showed towards some of our local businesses that felt a negative impact or may feel a negative impact from the future development. I hope in the future, businesses will uh, have their concerns heard as we move forward and that all meetings will be public so the community themselves will not be afraid of the future and afraid of our future projects. Uh, let's file these issues under lessons learned and look to the future. Um, in the future, I see a fully developed South Pier District, a beautiful hotel and conference center, tourists spending their dollars here, and a brighter future for all of Sheboygan. A future Sheboygan and all of us here today can be proud of. Thank you. And did you want to respond to and there was not a question there, right? Did you know you were just making a statement? Okay. <laughs> uh, I said from the beginning, I always thought this was a great project for our city of Sheboygan, and I still do. And I, I know Alderman Wagaman, you showed concern from the beginning. And uh, there was always a risk, and we said there was always a risk to, to this project. But I think there, the uh, merits of the project outweigh, outweigh the risk. And I'm looking forward to getting this moving along. And, the vote tonight. Okay, if there's another discussion, Pat, would you call a roll, please? Bird? Aye. Boney? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Brock? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ben Akron? Aye. Wongaman? No. Warner? Aye. Weniger? Aye. 13 ayes? Excuse me, 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, the other documents, I'll move the name. I'd like a motion to pass the resolution 757, which is resolution number 81-0304 for the final passage. Second. Move to second the resolution uh, 757 be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Bonnet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Wangaman? No. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Berg? Aye. 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carried. Alderman Bonet. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to make a, uh, make a motion to pass the resolution number 648, which is resolution number 66-0304, for the pond passage. Move and second that resolution 648 be put upon the passage under discussion. Alderman Bonet. Um, under discussion, I'd like to make an amendment to the resolution. Uh, under the last line, I think that uh, for upon satisfaction of all conditions present uh, precedent to the cities and development authorities' obligations under the development agreement. Okay, we have amendment on the floor before us. Is there any discussion on amendment? If not, all in favor of the amendment? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now, Alderman Bonet. Uh, yes, I'd like to make pass it as amended. Pass it as amended. Thank you. Second. It's moved to second that a resolution be passed as amended. Under discussion. Hearing none, 
Pat, would you call the roll? Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Mondemeyer? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Longman? No. Warner? Aye. Weininger? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carried. Alderman Bonet? Graf. Or, excuse me, Alderman Graf. Um, before I make a motion, does anybody have to make a motion? Uh, do you have anything? Yeah. yeah, we will. Oh, after the world, then. Right. Then um, I would move that S31, that resolution 960304, which is amending um, resolution that provided monies to TID number six, capital improvements fund for the South Surf project, that that resolution be put upon its passage. Right. Moved and second that S31 resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Alderman Montemir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now this will be the end or the beginning, right? We're finished making decisions as of tonight. That's good and we can go on with this. And uh, thank you, Alderman Rinfleisch. I think you spoke a few words that a number of us were thinking of, perhaps not all of it, but bits and pieces. But now it's the end and the beginning. Good, thank you. Correct. There will always be decisions to be yes. made on the project as we move forward. Would you call the roll, please? Oh, excuse me. Alderman Warner. Yeah. Okay. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Wangaman? No. Warner? Aye. Weininger? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. Doyle? 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carried. Mike, Redevelopment Authority? Thank you. Mike, did you want to say anything yet? Oh, yes, order? thank you, Your Honor. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that's been involved in this project. Uh, I think it's going to be good for Sheboygan. I'm just thankful for all the hard work the STC and everyone else put in, and I agree with Alderman Reinflesch. This is about the future, and I, and I think you have to look at it that way. So this is a good thing, and thank everybody that was involved, all the hard work they put in. Alderman Longman. Just one last comment. Now that all the documents are passed, I just wanted to assure you, Mr. Mayor, and all the rest of the council members, I'll do my best to make this project work as well as I can. I would in no way hinder it because I really do want to see it work. So I'll be out there with the rest of you waving the flags and holding the drums. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Alderman Graf. Thank you, Your Honor. I also want to just thank all, all my fellow all the persons that, um, that helped with this project, even, even the ones that question things, um, because we need that too. We need to be reminded that uh, we do have a um, citizens to answer to. Uh, we're, we're doing something for the city of Sheboygan and citizens of Sheboygan. And we have to make sure that um, we are doing the right thing, and I believe we did tonight. Thank you. And with that, I'll move to adjourn. Second. Hang on one minute, sir, and we'll move to adjourn. I know, you want to get going. I'd like to thank all the aldermen for your participation and your support of this project. Redevelopment Authority, staff, excellent job, Plan Commission, and of course, Ann, Steve, and everyone who participated in this, and South Pier Advisory Group. We had a lot of work before us, and we got it done, and I appreciate that, and you did an excellent job. And I think the paper, the Sheboygan Press, stated it well. I believe that was Saturday. There was an article in the press where our contractors from our local area contractors and we're just starting a project are getting quite a bit of the work already and we need to see that continue that we stay local get the work out locally and the jobs that will be created afterwards will be a tremendous boost to our economy 
in Sheboygan. Again, thank you everyone for participating and helping us on this project. Now, Alder McGraw. Before I move to adjourn, I will. I want to thank Ann, too, for all the people coming back and forth. <laughs> um, as our outside legal counsel, I would already thank Steve for uh, the department head, and so I think we're going to go. Super. Uh, and Brent. Yes. <laughs> we have a motion before us. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?